And it looks like we're live, I think, on Facebook. Uh, I The thing is, I should probably start talking to you a little bit earlier. I'm, I'm suddenly learning this when we're doing this just straight to Facebook. But anyway, uh, let's see here. We're recording. Uh, we're live. Uh, let me just go over here to see if I'm okay. Just, uh, you know, because we, we do this differently than we do the other shows. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. All righty. There it is. Okay. We're going. We're all Owen. Oh, boy, we also got a lot of people here. So let's uh, let's uh, let's go to them right now. Let's see here. Admit all. Here comes Andrew Deutsch and Mike Chisholm and uh, Steve Bender and there's Scott Boddicker. There's my old pal Rick Sheckman and Andrew Deutsch. Hello, everybody. How are you? Great. Fantastic. Hey. Huh? Are you there? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I I'm here. Are you there? Can, can you hear me, Alex? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. We're hearing everybody. All righty. Okay. I was just, I didn't know whether I had all of you uh, here. Hi, Shecky. How you doing? Matt, couldn't be better. <laughs> couldn't be better? <laughs> does, it, does that mean it's terrible and it couldn't be better or it's really good and it couldn't be better? I guess it's really good. And couldn't be better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The question if you can improve upon it is what the question is, you know. Uh, anyway, how you all doing, uh, all of you? How, how you doing, Steve Bender, downtown? I am good, thank you. Lovely uh, weather. Things are getting a little better. Get a little closer to your microphone, could you? Yeah, yeah. How, how's yeah. that? That's yeah, a little, little better. Andrew Deutsch out there. Hey. How you doing? Doing good. I'm, I'm, I'm in a dilemma. I don't know what to call the latest scandal. If it's water gates or pizza gates. <laughs> it's gates, gates. Gates, gates. Gates, gates of hell. <laughs> yeah. um, um, I, I haven't watched the news today. Is anything happening with Matt Gates? I don't know. Probably diddling it's a teenager. quiet today. Yeah. Yeah. It's quiet today. All right. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy than Matt Gates. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got to respect a guy who can be defended by Taylor Green and, and Jim G-Y-M Jordan. <laughs> is, mean, it, that's... is it spelled G-Y-M? No, it's G-Y-M because that's where he watched little boy guys getting diddled and didn't, didn't report it. <laughs> yeah. He's, yes, here in but Ohio, he's engaged he's... to the love of his life that he met at Trump Mar-a-Lago. So, you know, give him yeah. a break. Yeah. The Dude. love of his life. Is she still with him after all of this? No idea. God, would you want to be his girlfriend? Well, she you? probably is because she's out for money or whatever she can get by being the girlfriend of a celebrity. Well, she, she gets a little horny for guys in a gas mask in Congress. <laughs> <laughs> the fetish. It's a fetish, rubber fetish thing. Maybe. A... <laughs> well, you know something? I guess we get a certain visceral pleasure out of seeing people like this be had, you know, be caught yeah. doing something. Only only when they're that kind of guy. Yeah. You know, well, somebody who's out there being being Mr. Holy holier than thou and you you find them bent over with a butt plug and a and a ball gag and a <laughs> and a photo and, and you know who they really are. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but remember Wilbur Mills 40 years ago with Fanny Fox or whatever? It's what goes on in Washington all yeah, the time. That, that, that was really cool, though, because what was it? She jumped into the tidal basin, if I remember yes. correctly, to get out of the car yes. and not be found with Wilbur Mills. Yeah. That, that either means she didn't want to get caught or she was ashamed of being with Wilbur Mills. <laughs> or it was a hooker. Well, that too. But uh, she jumped into the tidal basin. What do they do? They dug her out. They they arrested her or whatever they did in those days. I don't know. Oh boy. Yeah. 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 But the, it, I think I think he resigned. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, but it, weren't the weren't the scandals in those days just a little bit more full of puff to them? You know. Well, it I mean, took more for the press to you know make them public than it does now right they were, they were yeah rare. well i mean if today somebody were found with a hooker like wilbur mills was nothing it would still be bad no well look at ken look at jack kennedy with the russian agent 
today it'd be the front page of the post. Oh, yeah, in absolutely. those days, nothing. And a movie. And to this day, they don't talk about. Oh. Yeah. You know, they don't talk about that. It was JFK that was seeing a Russian agent. Yeah. Yeah, at the time. So, I mean, how's that a con? That's a conflict of interest. I mean, I don't know. Can I be honest about it? And I don't want to get too filthy here, but uh, while I'm getting blown, I'll give any secret away you want to hear. Jack <laughs> <laughs> knew he'd be dead in a couple of years from whatever that Bright's disease he yeah, had, yeah. or whatever, had he not been murdered, you know. Mike. You got your so uh, that's that, there's right there, Alex. That's a pro tip for Marjorie. Um, but no, what I was going to ask was actually Shecky brought it up. He brought up uh, JFK. So for those who were around, was JFK Marilyn Monroe? Was that a scandal? Marilyn Monroe, no. but both JFK and our no, it was kept under the carpet. And yeah. it was, it was if, if you wanted to hear about something, it was really kind of skeezy. They were double teaming her. Yeah, yeah. Bob, like Jack would Bobby go over and have sex with her, her and then, rear, you know. what? Well, Bobby Kennedy helped to kill her. How did he help to kill her? I, I, I know there's a story there, but I can't. He remember. was that damn good. <laughs> <laughs> no. The Kennedy boys took care of her. What do you, what, well, William, explain yourself. Come on, we can't get through. You can say they wanted to get rid of her because they were both doing her, and she was so out of it, they were afraid of what she might say. Start talking. Yeah. Okay, so this didn't become public thing back then. It wasn't a, a quote unquote. Scandal. Nobody talked no. about scandals. Eisenhower had a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> they all did. The truth, yeah. truth of the matter was, it was Marilyn that killed JFK. Okay. You know, Eleanor had a girlfriend for what thirty years. Big deal. Eleanor had a girlfriend. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And she lived in the White House. The girlfriend down the down the hall. Oh, did she? <laughs> Raina Hitchcock when lived did, in the White House. Wasn't she upset though by J by by FDR's mistress? Yeah, that was part of it. Lucy, whatever her last name was. She was with him when he died. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then they immediately rushed her out of there. And she wasn't even invited to the funeral. Yeah. You know, and yet he she had been I had been his lover for what? How many oh, years? Oh, years. Yeah. Whatever. Years. And I don't know if necessarily lover is the best description, but the love of his life. You so know. when did political scandals start to take what was, I was, was water, around Nixon. Watergate? It was Nixon. 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 it was on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ted Kennedy and Mary Jo, that kind of opened things up a little bit. Yeah, she just got in the of back it. of a car. She really, he didn't even know she was in the car. No. Well, they, what? It, well, he yeah. may not have known she, she was, was drunk. There, there is a theory that she fell asleep in the back of the car drunk. Yeah, that's And drunk. that he then went off the bridge and didn't even know she was in the back seat. That's I what I heard. Uh, is that what you heard, Scott? You seem to agree with. Yeah, I, I've heard. I've heard that version also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we'll ever know what went on. I mean, all no, the parties are dead. You yeah, know, how are you going to? Yeah. As soon as I get my time machine working, that'll be the first thing I check. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. No question about it. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, uh, you know, I mean, I, uh, these scandals are. Uh, um, we didn't, did we have, well, of course we had Trump scandals, but we just kind of went, yeah, I'll get Obama had, was clean. Nothing yeah. could be said about Obama. Obama no, because she would have killed him. She oh, would have beat course. the crap out of him if he had, yes, yeah, Charlie. I mean, he had to be squeaky clean, and he was, and he's got a great marriage. Yeah. Charlie? Don't forget about Gary Hart and his presidential oh, yeah. campaign, <laughs> which, which, which we now know was a complete put on. Yes. On the boat. And what was the name of the boat? Of the, uh, I, I can't remember the now. The boat's name was a dead giveaway. <laughs> like I think it was like the Schwartzman. No, it was like a risky <laughs> business or something. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, something like that, yeah. 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 Um, and, uh, and Gary Hart, the, if you think about the Gary Hart scandal, was it that terrible a scandal? It was I enough to not knock him off the ticket. Was well, he invited in his political career? But he invited the president. 
he dared the press to, you know, said, watch me. And they watched him and they follow, got him. Follow me around, yeah. I think he said. Yeah, yeah. 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 follow him they... around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I think I think to the end he never claimed anything was going on there. But nothing was. She was paid to do that. Yeah, she was paid to sit in his lab. It, was, it all came out later. Paid, paid well, did you who? see that Matt Gates was using Apple Pay to pay the women? Right. Yes. Well, <laughs> I'm glad to hear he's technically savvy. You know. <laughs> I didn't think he was good at anything. I'm glad he was good at that. He should have used the Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Harder to trace. So it's, when it's when it's when it's that it's Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, um, um, I, 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 we need we need some more scandals. You know, really really juicy. But these aren't that. I mean, Cuomo's not a juicy scandal, is he? No. Only in the post. Not juicy. No. no. Mm. New Yorkers <laughs> love him. You know, I watched the end of that documentary on HBO about the oh. about Q. Well, I, I think I think they're correct as to who the guy is. I do too. Yeah, that, it, guy, it, in, that guy in Vietnam or something. Well, he's in. He lives in Sapporo, Japan, and his dad was yeah. in the Philippines, and they're total degenerate. He writes a newsletter or something. Oh yeah, yeah he's a, a code monkey. Code monkey. Yeah. But the, the 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 evidence that they show and and how it, it all came together, it, it just it, it's be very difficult for them to be wrong. It's not a hundred percent, but. It's yeah. it, it's very well, they got him at the end, almost admitting it right when he yeah, said yeah. Oh, he started laughing and saying he wasn't Q and you know okay yeah. got me yeah. but by the way if, isn't if it amazing though that, that Americans uh, these people who follow Q don't realize that they're following nobody in particular nobody with any real record of anything well, I follow but, R but again I'm trying to say that the people who are QAnon people aren't morons but I'm sorry I'm making that mistake. Well, they're the same ones that gave all that money to Trump when he for his birthday and forgot to uncheck the <laughs> oh, every oh, week. Continuous, continuous payment every month. For yeah, the continuing, rest of your life. No, what, what it was is it wasn't a continuing payment. Yes, what it was. was it started out as a non-continuing payment unless you uncheck. No. Uncheck. Right. You un no, that's right. Right. Alex is correct. If you know, you and correct. it's illegal to do that. It was a continuing payment. Thing. So some 70-year-old man or woman didn't see the, oh, I got to uncheck the box. But then worse, it went from being monthly to weekly. Weekly, yeah. <laughs> and, and if you didn't uncheck the other hidden box, there were times when they would do what they called money blast, which they right. would double or triple on that one. Jesus Christ. We, um, we, and this is this is in case people aren't familiar. Let, let's and those are his supporters because we're, we're maybe a couple of steps ahead of somebody who doesn't know what we're talking about. The Trump campaign sent out a newsletter asking for money, and that if you sent them, say, a hundred dollars, all right. Oh yeah. There was a thing checked, pre-checked, <laughs> that says you want it recurring monthly. You had to read the terms out of it by doing away uh, with the check mark, and most people didn't even see that, especially old people. Right, because we're all stupid and old. Okay, Un understand, yeah. Alex. It's because it wasn't on the first page; it was buried in the terms and conditions. Um, what What they did is we we build websites for our clients all the time. What they did in many states is absolutely illegal. You You can't do that. Yeah, you you. In other words, if somebody's going to opt out of something, they should have to check some. They should have to check something to opt out of it. Mm -hmm. Not have to check it to opt in. I have a personal, a personal corporate, American corporate Canada uh, anecdote about that. For years and years and years, I worked for Costco Wholesale. When Costco, if you'll remember, Costco never used to accept credit cards. Once they started accepting credit cards, when you signed up for the credit card, your membership was automatically added to the back of that credit card every year unless you opted out. And right. many people know that. And it created uh, all sorts of problems for people who worked on the warehouse at the warehouse level because there'd be irate customers coming in upset uh, they've never used the credit card maybe they never carried yeah, a balance on the card uh, they still kind of do that i mean mine yeah. renews automatically every year but i have to say renew automatically the reason that you have to say it is because they started by just doing uh what you just talked about there that trump was doing yeah. it just was an assumption and people who have the credit card just in case 
and never would use it would suddenly have a balance for their membership fees on there. If they didn't know that, it would go to collection, whatever. Exactly. And, and <laughs> seniors, the, the money kept adding up. It was monthly. Then what'd you say weekly? Well, we, no, you're talking about yeah. the Trump thing. We're, we're talking yeah. about Costco in his case. Well, yeah. yeah. Aren't there aren't there a lot of things? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shecky's trying to say something. You... Shecky? You're In not... boilerplate oh, that is... it's renewal, renewing unless you tell us not to renew it. Right. Yeah. But isn't doesn't that happen a lot? I mean, that's like Amazon Prime. If I sign up for a free month, yeah. it'll keep well, what it's doing unless like I cancel that. actively cancel it. Yeah. Yeah. It's clearly stated. It's not hidden in the terms and conditions. It's right. It yeah. tells you this is gonna automatic when you click the thing. <laughs> To buy it, it says this will automatically renew every They're year. They're depending on people to forget. Well, I mean, like, yes. something like I Disney Plus. And when I signed up for it, like for just a month, mm -hmm. they said, well, every month uh, it will renew automatically, it will renew the next month automatically, unless you tell us you don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. So you but, know that. Like on Amazon, if you sign up for a free trial of, you know, on Amazon Prime of, say, PBS or, or you know, Acorn, it says that you have to use your credit card. Because if you don't cancel it within this time, it's going to auto renew and charge I'll you. I'll tell you what, what happened with Roku that uh, fucked me over. Uh, I wanted to see what a particular app was. Okay. So I downloaded it, you know, put the app on there, the channel, and then I clicked on it. Now, if you're, if you're going to be charged for that, you should be told you're going to be charged for yes. it. But I simply clicked on it, and all of a sudden, I was getting charged for it. And I wrote Roku and I said, what kind of ripoff crap are you doing here? <laughs> you know, you can't suddenly, you have to ask me if I want this service. And I never asked for it. I just wanted to look and see, you know, if there's maybe a, a free week or something so I could see what that was and then I could opt out of that. But no, they automatically signed me up. Did you get it corrected? Oh yeah, I wrote them and I just yelled and screamed and went, well, you know, you should have known that you were blah, 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 but okay, we'll, oh, yeah. they we're getting bitchy and reluctant to do it, <laughs> but they did it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, but the, 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 this is the kind of thing you got to watch out for, especially if you're an, el an elder like we are, dear. Yeah. Um, Alex. What? What it's kind of like, have you ever tried to cancel a serious XM account? It's a nightmare. <laughs> Well, I found a good way of uh, I found a good way of canceling my Series XM account. Be fired. Well, <laughs> I wish they'd hire me and fire me. I tell you. Actually, you should have gotten fired. What was really funny about my Series XM account is the minute um, Albert left the building, he no longer had a Series XM account because all everybody who works there gets an automatic. A, a, you know freebie uh but mine they forgot to turn off and it was on for years i think it's still on no i don't think it is any longer no <laughs> but it was for years uh so. yeah but marjorie i still get on facebook marjorie miller loves sirius xm you should subscribe <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you get you get that <laughs> oh all the time Hey, nice Marjorie Miller, Mike Chisholm, Andrew Deutsch, <laughs> love Sirius. Why don't you do sign up? Very nice. Well, now what happens, uh, Scott? Because you're probably the only who. Anybody here have Sirius too? Yeah, yeah I have. More. I, I got, got mine canceled. I've got I've got the lifetime subscription from the original signups. Oh wow, that's great. So, yeah, I've got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> cost me three hundred. Cost me three hundred bucks each back when they first. Turn serious on. Yeah, I haven't paid for it in a year now. Huh? It's about three hundred bucks a year or every two years or something like that. Yeah, I've had it for forever. Yeah, I I can't tell you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Five dollars a month for Hold a year. Hold on a second, Shecky. Tell them what happened when you quit. I don't remember what don't happened. You, don't you remember they kept giving you lower prices and lower oh, prices it's like a dollar and lower a week if I want to go back. Yes, yeah. you're right. A dollar a week? <laughs> Something like that. I mean, just nothing. Okay. Yeah. But what oh, were you saying, good. Scott, about how it's well, difficult to get rid of it? Well, you can't just, there's nothing on a website you can get rid of it. You have to call them. And then they try to, like they did Shecky, 
try to downsell you to just keep you on so you forget and then the next year they can jack you up for uh, like $250 a year. And I got an old car and I got to get rid of it. A newsletter called The Athletic Sports. And I pay like 25 bucks a year. But right now they've got a special, it's $1 a month for six months. And then in the small boilerplate, it says after six months, it'll be $7.99 a month. Yeah. Well, that's a hundred dollars a year then after six months. Well, you see, right. here's the thing what, what they're doing with, with Sirius XM that I don't like is another thing some of these companies do. And they say, oh, you can sign up online. Great. Boom, boom, boom. I'm signed up. Oh, you want to sign out? Oh, you got to call the company. Got to call yeah. them. Wait and a minute. Them I should be go. able to get rid of it the same way I signed up for it. Yeah. yeah. You know? Man, this is decades old. Columbia House yeah. is doing me for... 20 tapes for 99 cents. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You have to tape a penny to the application. You have to tape it there. <laughs> I'll tell you a story about this. You said about Albert. I was in Bogota, Colombia in 1989, 1990. And there was a fellow at the airport who had gotten fired for arguing with his boss on the phone, an American guy. They turned off his credit card. They canceled his flight and turned off his, his calling card. Oh, wow. no. And and the only credit card he had on him was his corporate card, and he couldn't get back to the states. Wow! Oh, I let him use my phone card to call his wife in the U.S. to make arrangements to wire him money, oh my so that God. he could get a flight home from Colombia because the company. And what? I asked him. I said, "Did you steal from the company? What did you do?" He said, "No. I told I told the boss I wouldn't do something illegal. He was asking me to do, and they fired <laughs> me." Wow! Wow! See, yeah. here's the thing. Here's the thing with with, with Albert. The thing that always bothers me about the fact that he literally got downstairs and he was signed out. I mean, he was he was literally signed out of of his free Sirius XM account. And I'm thinking, hey, somebody worked for you. You know, you've got what, 32 million subscribers. You can't just give somebody yes, for the rest of their life and not feel it. Efficiency and decency rarely go together, man, when it comes to things like that. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like how you got fired. What do you mean, how I got fired? They said they're moving in a different direction, but it was the fact no, they that didn't say they were moving in a different direction. They didn't, yeah, say but you were older. They didn't, they didn't the give me a reason. Line. They didn't give me a they reason. They never gave you a reason. I never had got you were it. making too much money, and he was old. The, 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 the two in combination, I would, yes. in fact, here was the thing. <laughs> The, uh, you go through a whole process. They can't just say, okay, I'm, you're leaving on, on Monday. Okay, goodbye. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got to have you go through a, you've got to meet with HR. Yeah. And they got to give you the whole spiel, you know. And then the, they say, the exit plan. Of course, plan. Of course yeah. you know you get your, uh, uh, what, what is it? Your pension. Pen, no, pension, your, uh, your social no, security. No, what's the thing you get when they severance. Pay? Severance. 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 Uh, how many weeks pay do you think I got severance at Sirius XM? And I was there nine and a half years. Two, Maybe three months? Four weeks. Try 16 weeks. 16 weeks? Yeah, 16 weeks of severance. But in order to get it, I had to sign a piece of paper saying... That you won't speak ill of the dead. No, no. And not the, uh, worse than that. You won't sue them. That yeah. I wouldn't claim that Ages they were firing me oh. because of age. Nice. <laughs> I wouldn't have accepted the money and I would have gone to court. Well, I my argument it. was, I said, you would have won. I, I said, well, can I just claim this is ageist because you just asked me that question? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, isn't it ageist of you to say, because of my age, I'm not going to sue you because of my age? Yeah. And well, you should she didn't call have anything up. to say. She just said, if you don't sign it, you don't get the 16 uh -huh. week severance. Yeah, but if I'm up and say, if you thought I was old then, you should see me now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you, that's, them, that's them just covering their ass. Like, my last day there. Still, uh, you still would have had to prove it. We'll get to Jeff in a second. My okay. last day there, my two bosses, my two direct bosses come into the studio and say, well, that was a great last show and we're really going to miss you. And by the way, when you're ready, give us a call. We'd like to have lunch with you. Oh, It seemed, it seemed to indicate to me they had something else to offer me there. Okay. So I said, okay. So three weeks later, 
I felt up to it. And I said, you want to have that lunch now? And they said, well, so-and-so's out of town, but he'll be back in a month, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I never, heard, and we'll get a hold of you and we'll have lunch. And I've never heard from them to this day. <laughs> and I've always wanted to send a note to both of them saying, forget the lunch I ate already. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, it, it was just, yeah. why do you say that to somebody and then you don't come through on mm. it, you know? Especially when somebody's fired, they're in very vulnerable feeling and they, it's nice to know you want to have lunch with them and maybe there's something there, you know. Uh, a bunch of pricks. <laughs> but, uh, hey, I thought of a modern day comedy team. It only took me, you know, six days after our last show. Yeah, a, a um, Key and Peel. Yeah, oh, oh, they're, 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 not, they're not a comedy team anymore. <clears throat> no, but they're they're a comedy team in the modern age. I think that was the question. again that was that was also more sketches I, than stand up. I hate to say oh, this, that's thing was yesterday, but uh, oh, I, let's go to Jeffrey first. Jeff, you had some. Oh, okay. Talk? So here's here's what happened to me one time is I got. I got a new job, a brand new job, okay? Uh -huh. And I'm there like uh, two weeks. Mm -hmm. And I'm working for the president. Remember this company? Gulf and Western? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm working, and they have, you know, divisions that have different sub names and whatever. Right. And I'm working for, in Chicago, the center of this operation. Mm hmm and this was real. And the guy was very nice. And the thing was going to be very, kind of a new job and different. And they're like, after a couple of weeks, and the guy tells me, he says, you're not going to believe it. He says, but we just had a corporate change to say we're going to reduce this part of this division. Wow. And, and you're, you're out. Now I could give you another job, you know, it's like way at the bottom. How old were you then? And I go, what the hell am I doing? That? So the guy says, and I'll give you two months off for free. I'll pay you, give you payment for two months. And I said, that's not acceptable. I want more. <laughs> And the guy, he gave me three months instead. I felt so good. Jeffrey, but how remember, old were you then? How always old were you? ask for money, yeah. for more. How yeah. old were you then when that happened? Oh, 30s. Yeah, that's not an 35, age. maybe. Yeah. Uh, what I was going to say about Key and Peel, Jordan Peel is becoming the M. Night Shyamalan of his day. <laughs> yeah. Am I right? He does one great horror film, yeah. Get Out. And hello, Mandy. How you doing? Hi. Is is your okay. is your office pal gone today? No, but I think she leaves in three minutes. Oh, I. But I can't. I can't stay long. I just. I couldn't wait to tell everybody this news. That I'm getting a vaccine Friday. Hey. I was having serious FOMO. You know, fear of missing out. <laughs> but everybody every week you talk about who's getting the vaccine and i could never say i was getting it so yeah now you can say it very good yeah i just got mine an hour ago so good luck oh, oh, really hey. good lynn congratulations <laughs> i'm happy for you mandy and i'd be even happier for you if you could give somebody water in line waiting to vote <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting i'm getting fauci's little prick again on tuesday in my arm yeah yeah, yeah. Number two. Yeah. Uh, Number two is uh, killed me. Yeah. yeah. Still the picture. That's really cool. You, really you guys got Moderna, didn't you? Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I, got, yeah. I got Pfizer. Okay. I just got Moderna. So, all right. We're on Chuck, Chucky, and I, and Marjorie are on Team Moderna. <laughs> <laughs> I want to mind the last more than four hours. Getting. What'd you say? I won't, I won't know which one I'm getting until Friday. Oh, okay. Talk That's small. okay. They're both good. Whatever. Whatever they Just get. Even if it's Johnson Johnson, you know. Yeah. You got to get the Pfizer. It lasts more than four hours. I, but I wonder <laughs> if Johnson and Johnson 
who makes the bandage they put on your arm? <laughs> and I want to—I want to know if maybe they're only making this so they can sell more bandage. You know? <laughs> but anyway, when you have to go, just let us know. Yeah, I just like like I said, I couldn't wait. I was like, I have to get on there and tell them I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're happy for you, and and uh, yeah, because it's it. What what's the age now? Fifty and 30, 30, 30, 30 and up. Thirty. They've opened it. They've opened it for everybody here now in Georgia. Yeah, New York, Six, it's thirty and 16 up. Sixteen and up. It's sixteen and up here. Tomorrow, it's going to be sixteen and up here. Yeah. So, yeah. so here it is. In, in New York. In, yeah, in Georgia, Thursday. what this means is a, a guy. I can get it, and then so can his sixteen-year-old uh, girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> and, and after that they can have safe sex so you know it's, it's, Ew. it's good mm. yeah no it's it's um um it seems like it's opening up almost everywhere now yeah yeah i think uh april 15th here it goes to 16 in california in california too. yeah, yeah. I, do we have enough supplies now i guess we do huh I it's been know. over four We're million fighting. Vaccines in one day. Yeah. yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Did anybody see Saturday Night Live, the bit they did about black people and <laughs> a game show for his, this guy and his black family called Will You Take the Vaccine? Yes, I did see it. <laughs> and they go, I think that no, may have been. Oh, it's very, if you can watch it, it's very funny. Did you see 60 Minutes talking about Palm Beach and what the governor, that idiot governor did there with the vaccines? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to watch it after this. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't want to ruin it for oh, you. It, uh, yeah. It, it has Is a... that the public thing where you took yeah. the um, bribe? Yeah. The most the most impoverished community in Palm Beach County is 25 miles from a Publix and nobody has a car. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm interviewing this 91-year-old woman who, I yeah. want the vaccine. I don't believe that there's minority communities that want the vaccine any less than white people. Right. It, I, I know more white people who say I'm not getting the vaccine because they've been following Q all, all around the neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. It's it's not a it's not a racial thing. It's it's people who are suckers or not suckers, covidiots and smart people. Well, here's how you get people to sign up for it. Okay. Here's how you get people to sign up for it. Your free you free say. Uh, you don't get to go to ball games. You don't get to go into That's movies right. or anything like that unless you got on an airplane. Unless you travels the park. Yeah. If you want to get all those all those Q followers in the trailer park, just give them a you know. If you get the vaccine today, we'll give you some F tomorrow, and you'll be good. <laughs> and what, you were going to say something, Shaggy? No, I hadn't brought it up yet. But Charlie, have you seen what your governor has done today? I haven't seen today. He's not throwing out the first pitch oh. at the Texas Rangers game because <laughs> he is now anti baseball because they pulled the All Star game. <laughs> oh, brother. They'll have nothing to do in Texas with baseball. They are dead to him now. Wow. He couldn't throw oh anyway. <laughs> Who knew it was still okay for them to fill up the stadium? Wow. Oh, they have a hundred percent occupancy yeah. rate yeah. to check the stadium. Mm. Yep. Mm. The Yankees have ten thousand five hundred people are allowed into the stadium. Yeah. But in Texas, hundred percent. Yep. Wow. But the fellow won't throw out the first pitch. Like, does anyone give a rat's ass? <laughs> <laughs> and Mandy was planning on going to the All Star game, right, Mandy? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and who cares about the old part to begin with? And I love yeah. baseball. Right. Well, here they're they're also they're putting down Delta because Delta is yep. uh, is been complaining about that the voting rule. And Delta is responsible for I think thirty thousand jobs in that yeah. state. Like that. How about Coca-Cola? Coca -Cola. Yeah. Coca -Cola, right. But they, they only are responsible for eight thousand. Yeah. Because it's that's all offices huh? in Atlanta, you know. And it's like, who has a water company? Um, uh, who could it be? Who could it be? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Charlie. Yeah, you know, all those Trumpsters on Facebook, uh, you know, the ones that are, that are screaming against the cancel culture are now calling for boycotting Coca-Cola and Delta. And, and, and baseball. But, and but baseball. Charlie, 
Charlie, it's not cancel culture if the people are bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wonder what Dr. Seuss would have to say about that. Oh, geez. <laughs> it's amazing. It's just amazing. Um, uh, but the whole thing, the, th the sad thing is, is that they're creating laws that are based on lies. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's listen, crazy. None of this, Mandy, none of this would be going on in Georgia if those two senators, Republican senators, had won. Yeah. <laughs> or so upset. Yeah. Sorry, sir. And that woman is running again now. What's her, whatever her name is. By the way, the, the Negro in the group has his hand up. <laughs> no, no, I don't. <laughs> I, I would like to. I would like to. Oh my! God. Recognize you, uh, but first I have to. You have to get in line. <laughs> Wait here, Charlie. Want some water? And don't give and, me any water. And here you go, Charlie. <laughs> here, Charlie. So, you know the worst part about it? Forget about the water. That's just ridiculous. Okay, yeah. it's the uh, you got to vote by five o'clock. Right. Right. No, seven o'clock. I think. No, five. 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 It changes. Five o'clock. Am I right, Mandy? It's five o'clock. I'm pretty sure, but it, yeah. the thing is, is that it, the governor is coming out and saying that it's these laws are better than or, or more accessible than New York's laws. Oh, really? yeah, right. Yeah, right. he's comparing them to New York's laws. Really? Because I know a place I can vote with a half a block away, and it's over well, part eight o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, the part the part we got to be concerned about all this other stuff is fog and it sucks. But the part that now the legislature can just decide they didn't like the vote. Yeah. yeah, that's the part that we should be focusing oh, on. Oh yes, I forgot right. about that. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you, you fell for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. All this other stuff is is nonsense. If if they don't like, if it's a Republican state, Republican legislature, they don't like they don't like the Democrat. Yeah, we basically they don't own... have, basically they don't have voting in Georgia. Yeah. No, yes, right. symbolic voting, Charlie. Yeah, I have to disagree with you on that. If the, the two senators had not won. Uh, Thing because Texas Republicans won everything. They won every fucking race in the whole goddamn state, and they're passing laws that are worse than the laws in Georgia. Well, what are some of the uh, high points of your law? Oh, well, I mean, it's, it, it's one thing they're shortening the the, the uh, early voting, mm -hmm. the no voting on Sunday. Just like I think Georgia's got the same thing, no voting on Sunday. Just but I mean. Sunday. It's just it's just ridiculous. Well, we had, you know, what 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 do we have here in the oh, next three years? You gotta get a witness for your mail-in ballots. Oh, really? Yeah, you can't you can't just send it. You got not only do you have to have copies of your ID, but you gotta have somebody witness your your that, that's the law that they're talking about right now. I think now. we should yeah. all take so up you can't a, just be a recluse. <laughs> I know you can't. can all pitch in a little bit of money here. And get both Charlie and Mandy out of their respective state. <laughs> we need them there. Oh, oh, we need them there. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, but Do we think that uh, online voting will happen in our lifetimes? Online voting? I, I see. I don't see any reason against it. Okay, I don't see any reason against it. Just to uh, make it too easy for people to vote, and the Republicans hate that. Right. <laughs> That's the only reason, right? No. Yeah, we could do our banking online and we trust that. Why can't we vote? You know, you're absolutely right. We trust our banking online. We make yeah. deposits online. Okay. So mm -hmm. why wouldn't we trust voting online? Oh, well, it's 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 more corruptible than your banking. Because the wrong people move, you know, will win. Yeah. <clears throat> we we let Matt Gates get his underage girls online. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you can get a date on the credit for being so upfront about this, like actually coming out and saying we can't win in a fair election, so we've got to do this. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gee, are we talking? I was about wondering politics? how we can get our state legislature flipped over to blue to be able to overturn overturn these laws. But if we have trouble with voting, it's going to be a real struggle. They're really yeah. going to have to get the vote out. Well, I mean, they passed this law. What's going to be hard is to reverse it. Right. You know, and, and I'm telling you, uh, I mean, I uh, yes, uh, okay, I love Major League Baseball for saying no all-star game there. 
and for Coca-Cola to gripe about it and for the biggest employer practically in the state, Delta Airlines, to, to uh, go for it. Uh, it's happening none of, so it, many none of it is going to reverse it. None of this is going to reverse it. That's the problem. Well, you know, but again, Coca-Cola is still sponsoring the China Olympics in two years. Well, they know what they have sponsored every Olympic since the original Olympic Games, I think back in modern Olympic Games back in like 1906 or something like that. Because I know I was involved oh, every year for like about four years with Coca-Cola who would send me to the various Olympics to do a show. Uh, they were they were always major sponsors of the Olympics, no matter where. It was. Yeah, but if they're in high umbrage about this, why aren't they about China and what's going on in that country? Um, because they're really supporting the Olympic Committee. They feel I would. Oh, that would those be, corrupt individuals. <laughs> well, that would be the answer they would give you. You know, is that they've always been a big supporter of the Olympics. As a matter of fact, if you ever notice, their brand name is all, they're allowed to use the Olympic rings in their advertising. Right, because they're paying money for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't see that it's necessarily a horrible thing that it's in China this year and they're not complaining about China. Uh, I don't hear. No, it's in China in two years. I don't hear Apple complaining about China. You know, uh, and and the way that people are being treated in their own plants that are making their Apple iPhones, you know. Yeah, but if Coca Cola is going to complain about the elections in Georgia, shouldn't they also be thinking about the regime I, I, in could China? I, could, I, could I proffer an idea here of what their thinking is on this? That there's we stance, can make money. Well, no, their stance, okay is based upon uh, the fact that this is, is America. They're an American company. This has to do with voting. This is our own business. They're doing business in China, but they don't have, they're not a, they're not a, a company that is indigenous to that country. They simply do business there. I mean, they, their home base yeah. is Georgia. Okay. They're, it's oh, their own. It's their own elections that determine what goes on at their headquarters. The worldwide headquarters is Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Well, and apparently Delta's actually they've actually, um, you know, punished them with their tax breaks already. Yeah. You know, I don't know how they. I don't. I mean, I heard that. But I don't know how it could have happened. They're going past, to. They're going they're to take going away to. their fuel tax breaks. Oh really? Which is fine. Yeah, okay. You be paying them anyhow. <laughs> I imagine that. PW, uh, the Delta has enough money to go to court to argue that this is a punitive action against them because of their political feelings about the voting in that state. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, I don't think they are going to be penalized for it. What? I mean, penalized for it? I guess Delta could say, okay, then we'll pull our all our business out of, out of uh, Georgia. We'll move next door to whatever the next state is and give them the business. That would be so difficult. I mean, they would do that. By the way, what is take Trump a drinking Pepsi? What? No, he's a Diet is Coke Trump guy. not drink, drinking Coke anymore? And they're going to drink Pepsi? That's, that's well, well, well. Well, Trump, it, the Republicans are the ones against Coke at the moment. So why is Trump still drinking Diet Coke? Oh, is he really? He has been for years. He's got, he had a little button he on his desk. Button. He pushed the button he and they the brought him one. In the, in the Oval Office. How does he have a tooth left in his mouth? He's Diet Coke. <laughs> you know, I stopped, I stopped using uh, regular Coke years ago. I went to Diet Coke and then they came out with uh, no sugar, which is better than the Diet Coke. Tastes better. Uh, I haven't, I haven't used a sugar uh, soda in years. In fact, right here, I am using a caffeine-free uh, sparkling uh, water uh, that's flavored black raspberry. But I mean, I don't, I, don't, I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, used uh, Coca-Cola in years. I mean, yeah, but he drinks Diet Coke. Oh, Diet Coke. Okay. Well, I think Trump has dentures. Really? Yeah. Remember his dentures Probably, slipping yeah. several times when he's trying to talk? <laughs> really? When he said, you're not just shapes. 
<laughs> he said his name is Tate because apparently his denture slipped just as he was saying that. Really? I didn't Probably realize Charlie. that. <laughs> yeah, that or implants. Yeah. It's, what, it's, it's what happens when you, you run out of polydent and you try tanning cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Andrew, you're funny. Yeah. Um, no, I... I uh, Mike's got a question. Mike? Oh, no, it's not a, or a question. It's an observation. I don't know if you guys have bubblies down in the States or not, but that's very similar to what uh, what I have. It's like a water, a flavored water, that kind of a thing. And that's been me for years. Okay. Unless something happens, and it happened this weekend, Pepsi, I go to my local grocery store, and Pepsi has the throwback Pepsis. Have you ever seen the throwback Pepsis? No. They're the ones that, uh, they look like the old 80s packaging, but they're not made with high fructose corn syrup. They're made with real sugar you know I, why that is well uh, for me i don't know for me it's a taste thing i grab that sucker and i feel like michael j fox from back to the future in 1985 the choice mm -hmm. generation is amazing i i feel like i'm a little kid again when I over that corn syrup is not kosher mm. and that's why coca-cola during passover uses regular sugar okay oh, really didn't know that Good I, don't know that, but I don't like I don't like modern day Pepsi, but when I drink a can of that, mm -hmm. it brings me right back to wait, when I was. Wait a, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you telling me then that the whatever they use to artificially flavor Coca Cola isn't parb for cashew? No, Passover? it is not. Passover. It's, it's the and sweetener. That is why sweet. Coca Cola during Passover uses regular sugar? Really, I didn't realize. Huh. I I I. You know, I didn't think that any, I think some of that saccharin of what, what is going to you about something like saccharin or no, uh, the corn syrup. Those corn syrup. Oh, corn syrup. Oh, I corn see. syrup is not kosher syrup. for Passover. And what, what in corn syrup, though, isn't kosher? Corn. I don't know. <laughs> corn. 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 You know, I mean, what, what I just, I have no idea about that. When, I when I was the way that it's harvested, a lot of animals die the way that they harvest corn and factory farming and things like that. When the thresher goes over, wow. it might have something to do with that. I don't know. Uh, it wouldn't. And, and speaking of Passover, why do they always show the Ten Commandments on Easter? <laughs> Is it because of Passover? <laughs> it's just a lousy movie. Passover was the week before. Because <laughs> Charles Maston is the Easter Bunny. I, I was at my mom. I was at my mom's yesterday, and we walked by like where they're going to they have a thing, like what movie they're going to show, and she goes, "See, even here they show the Ten Commandments on Easter. What's yeah, the deal?" You're right. It doesn't make any sense. You would show something like uh, the greatest story ever told, yeah. or uh, yeah, you know, robe. Uh, oh, okay. and tell, her. You know, I tell you I thought it had to do with Passover, though. Yeah, I what? tell you a little story about uh, about Coke. So I was in the in the steel drum industry. And we made stainless steel drums that we sold to Coca-Cola because when they ship their concentrates abroad, first you have a concentrated flavor, then you add the sweetener, which makes it into the syrup. And then after it's a syrup, then they put it out and they add the, the other ingredients. So a 55 gallon drum of the concentrate could make millions of huge amounts of gallons, but the concentrate had to be shipped in a stainless steel drum because it's such a dangerous acid oh, geez. that it would eat out of any other container. <laughs> wow. So that's why they have to ship the super concentrate in, in, in wow. these stainless steel drums. Oh. And it can't stay in the stainless steel drum for more than six months, or it could even damage that. Wow. Well, enjoy your Coke yeah. with a smile. <laughs> and we drink that. I'm not doing Have a Coke and a smile. I was a big Coke Zero guy, and I've got like three cases of them here, and I haven't touched those cases. What weeks, Marjorie? Yeah, I've just I found this uh, the seltzer they have at the Costco, Kirkland seltzer. Which I'm delighted. With You're a not flavor, drinking, and, soda, and, yeah. and it's, it has no calories, no carbohydrates, nothing, and it's uh, it's it quenches my thirst better almost than uh, anything else, you know. So uh, I'm I'm very happy with that, you know, but. I just looked up the corn thing, and it said that this year was the first year ever the rabbinical council, whoever they changed it, and corn is kosher for Passover. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what I, you know, as a Jew, I have always been upset by the fact that a bunch of corrupt rabbis, yeah, of course, 
right? All they have to do is bless something as being kosher for Passover, and then you pay them off. Okay, it's it's not quite not quite because I've gone through that in industrial factories that had to be kosher. Yeah, the rabbi shows up and they want a list of every chemical, every product in the building to go through it to make sure that there's nothing being used in the facility. There's a whole there's a whole thing. And then the next year, they just sign off on it. So the fact that you somebody, gotta, so the fact that somebody in the break room was eating pork rind, no, make it no, not had bad. nothing to do with it. <laughs> you, they weren't allowed to eat near the products. But for example, you had to say all the solvents you use, every chemical that was used in the facility, any liquid, had to be shown uh, to the rabbi to go through and make sure they were all kosher. Well, let, let's it's a whole it's a whole thing. For a moment, let's just talk about kosher. It never, as a Jew, it never made any sense to me. As a modern Jew, yeah, you know, because it, they were they were dietary laws and they were health laws. Because in the old days, if you ate pork, you were taking your life in your hands because of trichinosis and so on and so forth. As we have become more uh, a cleaner society, pork is no longer dangerous to eat on, under any condition. Maybe I, uh, I actually. I actually had this discussion with a friend who was a rabbi yeah. and he said it was not originally for health reasons. I always thought that was too. Well, I think it it. Be it. But, yeah. Right. He said it was simply that was a kind of arbitrary thing to distinguish this people's from other people's. And God just says, don't eat this shit. So don't eat it. And that's the reason why. Just don't do it. In the Bible, it's like there's, the circumcision. But there's nothing in the Bible in the, in the Old Testament where God says, don't eat pork. Oh, yeah. yes, there is. There is. There, really? there is. You can't eat stuff with cloves. Cloves or shellfish. Yeah, yeah, it is in the yeah. Bible. It's where Leviticus was coming. But I understand that if you get the rabbi to circumcise the hog, it's kosher. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do something to, 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 uh, to let it show. I've got a buddy who's a Mormon. And uh, we talk about this. I, I love him very much. And I love to make fun of him. It's one of my favorite things. And we talk about how... Uh, they're not allowed to drink coffee, right? But they can have Coke. And that, <laughs> that's, a, that's something that goes right to the very, very top. And he's like, ah, business is business, I guess. But the Mormon <laughs> prophet forbids them to drink hot drinks. It isn't coffee. It's the caffeine. Mm. They can't, well, it's, it's hot drinks. You can't caffeine. drink hot drinks. Oh, hot drinks? Yeah, it's in there. It's in when I, I used to have to work with the Mormon church. Okay. When I was so let's ago. say, let's say, like right now, this cup has been sitting here for an hour. It is not warm anymore. Could I drink this if I was a Mormon? My buddy wouldn't. My buddy would like, no, stay away from coffee. Bad. Coffee bad. Oh, only good. if you're wearing your magic underpants. <laughs> <laughs> Depends. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, uh, Mormons wear yeah, magic too. underpants. <laughs> they call them robes <laughs> under their clothes. <laughs> you mean the magic underwear? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's um, a real thing. Yeah. I'm, 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 did I ever ask anybody about their magic underwear? I don't think I ever have. I have had Mormons on my show, but I've never had the nerve to ask them about the magic underwear. I've asked. <laughs> you have? Yeah, it's the the robes. That I forget which the Bible character supposedly wore, Jake Jacob or somebody, and they think that it gives them protection. Well, have you even heard? There was a guy that, and one of the Mormon guys that I knew had been in a fire, and because he believes that because he was wearing that, that's what kept his body from getting burnt. Wow. And uh, you can buy it at Utah Costco? <laughs> uh, I, I think it's Mormons or us. <laughs> yeah. it, 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 it's called the garment, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. The robes, the garment, something like that. Yeah. Did they show them to you? I have seen it. There's like little stitches over the nipple. That they're, they're really weird. They're, uh, does it look like regular underwear? Or it looks like it looks like a jumper you'd put on your newborn. You know, I don't, I don't, I didn't get into to, to see if there was snaps under the crotch or anything. But they were. <laughs> it's, it's it's fruit of the loom, uh, Mormon garments. No, it's fruit of the Mormon. <laughs> Is that a trap door and footies and. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't know, but I the guy opened his shirt and showed me. Well, the only thing I liked about the Mormons, I've always liked about the Mormons, is they believe the Jews are the chosen people, and I agree. So, <laughs> I, I, they, but supposedly, they, uh, they, uh, although when I was a kid, there was a, I wanted to join the Boy Scouts, and there was a Boy Scout troop. The closest one to me was a Mormon Boy right. Scout troop, 
and they wouldn't let me in because I was a Jew. Up until <laughs> up until they dot they dropped the Boy Scouts because of their view on on stuff like gays and and other things like that. Mm -hmm. The male youth program in every Mormon church was the Boy Scouts. And they spent millions of dollars on Boy Scouts because that was their youth program for boys in every Mormon church in the country. And then they got in a conflict because of the views of the Boy Scouts and they created their own program and separated. So what are they now? The Mormon Scouts or something? I don't know. The Douche Scouts. I, I, the I'm, douche not sure. scouts. <laughs> I'm not sure. That was a long time ago when I was involved with it. But, but yeah, it's... And if you ever read the book, I've read their book. Mm -hmm. It's, it's it, just to find out how people have the colors that they have. There was a, the the Satan and and Lucifer or Lucifer and Jesus went to war, and they created these tribes that fought in the war, and Jesus won. So the ones who were on the side of Lucifer were painted black and became the Negro race, oh. and the ones that that didn't take sides became the Indians and they were painted red because they were cowards. Wow. Oh, Don't really? fuck with well, the they, people. they did. They, there was a, there was a, <laughs> one of the biggest, uh, what can we call it? Things about the, about the Mormons was what they did to the Indians. Am I yeah. if I'm not mistaken? And then there was also the people that were coming to, um, into Utah, uh, these bunch of people and they did a massacre or mm -hmm. they killed them. Yep. And they don't want to talk about any of that. Well, the Mormons will tell you that they were the only religion in the U.S. besides the Jews where people tried to totally eliminate them. So they feel kind of connection with the Jews. Yeah. It's, it's bizarre. Yeah. But still, what about that massacre? I, I can't remember the name of something, Meadow Massacre or something. And it was these people who wanted to come and just settle in Utah. And they went out and killed them all. I mean, it's, it, they won't talk about that one either, you know. Uh, not that you know that not that most other religions don't have something they did that was wrong. You know. Of course, until 1978, blacks couldn't be Mormons. Right, they can now, right? Yeah, but it, can they hold a position in the Mormon Church? Yeah, yeah, they're uh, regular members. But they can. Oh, okay. Yeah, it turns out the paint didn't stick. Yeah, Marjorie, you've been very <laughs> quiet today. Huh? You've been very quiet today. No, I'm listening. Before we do this show, she's on the on on a FaceTime call to her girlfriend, uh, Natalia, and they sit there and they both drink champagne nice. while they're talking to each other. And your point By the time is, she comes on this show, she sounds like fun. She, she passes sure. out, you know. It's <laughs> classic as f. I'm drinking apple cider. Yeah, I, and who got you that apple cider? You, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, and she griped about it when I brought it home. Oh, I said cider. cider. I thought I thought it would be more alcoholic. No, 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 no. It's apple cider. It, That's it, delicious. It's another word for apple juice. But it was the only thing they had there. You know, uh, they didn't have any. I was looking for a brand that said apple juice because I knew you would complain about the <laughs> apple cider. But I did it anyway. Yeah, I went for a mile walk today. All right. Nice. Huh? I came home almost passed out. I don't know what it was. It's the, it's the mask. I, I, they got, I don't know how you wear that mask. I know you're walking with a mask on. It's just, it's, it's, I mean, I know I've got to do it, but, you know. Are the streets that, are the streets that crowded around you where you really can't take it off for a while? No, it's New York City. I'm New York City. have to stay masked. You know, maybe I can walk. I have found it. Many many of you want to stay masked. Maybe I no, can walk. Many downtown blocks, if I'm the only person walking and I'm huffing and puffing, it's I take it off for a while. Where I work in the 50s, everybody is masked. But well, it's Steve, lives, that many Steve, Steve lives in New York City, you know, and he lives in uh, down around Union Square, right? right? I'm going for a walk in the village in early in the morning. There's hardly anyone out. I mean, I wear oh, it. I, I take it off for a while. That's you know. the best time. Yeah, that's the best time. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, you know, we've kind of, uh, we kind of run out of time here. Uh, mm -hmm. Always a nice little group of people hanging out with each other, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anybody's watching this and they ever want to join a bunch of nice people, this is it, you know. <laughs> um, so I want to thank, of course, Steve Bender, who is uh, always down there in the, uh, in the lower parts of our, of our great city. 
Scott Boddicker, always great to have you here. He loves calling this show because uh, I guess you like the crowd, right? Yes. Yeah. Very much. Very. Rick, uh, Rick does. Rick is funny. I tell you, you're funny, man. Yeah. <laughs> Rick is. Uh, you love the show too, right? Because there's a nice bunch of people to hang out with, right? Randy Joy, thank thank you so much. Uh, if you put your arm all the way out, we can see it disappear. The other one. The other one. The other one. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> oh, the magic of television. Charlie Wallace, thank you. Always a pleasure. Uh, my dear wife, uh, Marjorie Miller, thank you. I'll see you at dinner. What's for dinner tonight? Chicken. Chicken. Okay. Uh, Jeff Stein, <laughs> always nice. I'll be very soon. We should figure out some way to get together. You know, we're getting. We're Pam's oh. getting her last injection tomorrow, I think. Okay. Oh, good. Then so, it's two weeks after. So you should come down and. Uh, yeah, we'll, absolutely. We'll have dinner together. Yeah. Uh, uh, Len Lafrisco, always a pleasure seeing you from the front seat of your airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mandy, I should be with us for most of the most of the hour. <laughs> she, she doesn't know you're talking to us. No one's complained yet. Oh, oh okay. Well, as long as they I, guess they're, I guess they're working. We, 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 so like, I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> and I'm I'm whispering. So. You're what? I was whispering. whispering. Whispering, yeah, yeah. And I got my earphones in. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. And 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 Mike Chisholm. Hey, always good to talk to you, Mike, in Canada. Everybody, uh, just do a big wave goodbye, and I will say goodbye to all of you, and I will say goodbye to the people who are watching right now, too. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Alex. Being with us. Thanks, it. buddy. And uh, if you yeah. see her, tell her I love her, but there she was. <laughs> okay. <laughs>